Hey everybody, this is Franco. I'm your writing consultant for the TAMU Advancing Research and Curriculum Program, or ARC. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to split a table um, that you may be having trouble with in Microsoft Word. Um, it's actually a really simple process once you know how to do it. Um, it'll take just a couple of minutes and we're going to be um, taking care of that today for all of your table splitting needs. So here I have a student's paper that I blacked out um, all the information from. Um, all I need from this is to show you how to split the table. So as you can see, the table continues from one page to another. It has headings. It's perfectly good. I took out the data from it. Um, all I, I'm going to do is just show you the technique to split it. As you can see, uh, right-clicking on the table doesn't really do anything for us. It doesn't. It shows us some options about merging cells or maybe deleting cells or changing the border, but we're not interested in any of that right now. We want the table to continue nicely from one page to another. The table design doesn't show us anything. So where we want to go instead is this layout. Once we've clicked into the table, it should show up on the top of the, the bar. And clicking just right there under split table, will split your table into two different tables. Um, now, it'll always split it on whatever level or whatever um, uh, row your table is on. So make sure that you're on the, the row that you want it to be before you split your, your table or you'll have to do it again. Um, this is important for our thesis and dissertation students. Um, tables in the thesis and dissertation at TAMU can't continue from one page to another without this continued text. Um, that's standard for all thesis and dissertations at, published um, at TAMU through the master's and uh, PhD programs. And when you do split your table, you want to make sure that you have that text on top, that um, those continued headings from your original table. So not only will you have the continued table text, you'll also have exactly the same headings that your table has on its first page. Tables can sometimes go on to two or sometimes even three pages if they're very long. So this is something you want to definitely keep in mind if you have a table that you're going to be working on across multiple pages in Microsoft Word. And of course, once you have split your table and done whatever you need to do to your text, um, you can stylize it, you can change your borders, you can make it exactly how you had your original table, um, and just do that for as many tables as you need. And there you go. We've split your table into two, two tables for two different pages. This video is really useful. Um, and if you have any questions and need a little bit more assistance, you can always contact us at uh, tamuarc at tamu.edu or writingconsultant at tamu.edu. Of course, our information and description is available in the video description below. Please subscribe for more videos from TAMU ARC, and we hope to see you again soon. Thank you.